let's have a little look at the uh, different devices we've got plugged in. We've got the BMV 700, and if you click on that, it can tell you all the current stats of the uh, battery monitor. You can set, oh, you can see what alarms it's got set on it. You can see a history of the device. And all devices have this device menu, which shows you basic details about how it's connected to the color controller. This particular thing is done via VE Direct. The MPPT controller, let's have a look at that. This basically just gives you information about the controller, so you can see what wattage it and amps and voltage it currently is, and tells you what the battery is, tells you the total yield, gives you history, so you can go into daily history here, and if you want to see how much power you generated yesterday, I had it off, so not much. Day before that, one and a half kilowatt hours. Day before that, two and a half kilowatt hours. So that was a good day, with a peak of 727 watts. So that's quite useful. I use that quite often just to see 838 watts. As we get closer to winter, that will go down. 1.8 kilowatts. 2.4 kilowatts. Overall history. Maximum PV voltage. And that is actually quite lucky because 120 volts, it's a different power system if you go over that. So I'm right on the edge of what's allowed. Let's have a look at the Multi Plus inverter charger. So you can see it's currently on. You can click here and change it to charger only or off. And that matches the three buttons on the front of the machine. You can set the current limit. So if you're plugged into shore power, and how much power will it suck out of the, uh, the grid. Current voltage and current. And it tells you what your AC lines are doing. As you can see, I've got, I don't have any shore power, no AC in at the moment. And AC out, 230 volts, 50 hertz, which is what New Zealand is set to. Notifications, so if something goes wrong, for example, if you have a low voltage warning or error on the inverter, you'll get all the notifications pop up in that screen. So that's basically it. You've got your settings and your overview screens. You can switch between them by going, pressing those two buttons, push that one again, and you can flick between your different overview screens. Let's have a look at the bottom of this thing. The way it mounts is it's just slotted into the slot, the hole that I've cut out, and then it's got this uh, clamp that screws on and goes into the base there and just clamps the whole thing down. Quite simple. On this side here, you can see we've got power in. What's useful about this is you can charge it, or you can power this little computer with anything from 8 to 70 volts. So it doesn't matter what battery system you've got, whether it's a 12 volt, 24 volt, or a low battery, you know, it will work. Here's the relay that this device has, and actually the BMV 700 has got a relay as well. So there's two relays here you can configure and program to do things. Here's all the cables for things that are connected. This grey cable here is basically an Ethernet cable, and that's connected to the uh, inverter charger. We've got two VE Direct ports here, and one of them is connected to the BMV 700. The other is connected to the MPPT solar charger. Now there are USB ports on this as well, so if you needed to plug in more VE Direct items, you can get a USB to VE Direct adapter, and using a USB hub you can actually plug in up to six or seven devices. The yellow cord here is Ethernet, so that is giving the internet to this device, and that's connected directly to my uh, 4G router that's plugged in. So here's another look from the other side. You can see the, the USB ports in here. There's a VE.CAN, that's for the CAN bus network, so if you've got some CAN bus devices. So stay tuned for the next episode. The third episode is going to have a look at the VRM Victron World, which is basically a website where all the information gathered from this device is pumped onto the internet. 
so you can view and control this thing from anywhere and we're going to have a look at those remote control options as well pretty awesome stuff i like it